Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead, and we have seen the sunshine return to the Arkletex. You can see as we look at the camera from downtown Shreveport, not a cloud in the sky, and it looks like we'll take a break from the clouds and rainfall chances uh, through at least tomorrow, though we do have a couple of disturbances that we will have to watch here moving forward. Looking at the overall weather pattern here, you can see the clouds uh, decreasing and moving out of the Arkletex during the morning. Here's another disturbance, which is producing some snow across the Rockies. We will see this swing around, and it will increase our clouds tomorrow night into Thursday, but uh, precipitation looking unlikely at this point. Let's give you a look at Robin's Toyota Futurecast, and you can see that as we go through the nighttime hours tonight, we will stay clear across the area, and with uh, the lack of clouds some drier air in place, temperatures tonight likely will dip below freezing. And then tomorrow we'll see plenty of sunshine. You can see the clouds associated with that disturbance and even some snow over parts of uh, Oklahoma. It's kind of doubtful that we will see that hold together. Uh, if anything, a very small chance that we could see a, a, a few flakes of snow or a light winter mix over the northern edge of the region, but it shouldn't cause too many issues as we go through tomorrow night. And then Thursday, we will see a partly to mostly cloudy sky with quite a few clouds in the morning. We'll see more sunshine mixing in with those clouds uh, Thursday afternoon. And those clouds, what's left of them, should move out of the area Thursday night, setting up a nice Friday and a warmer weekend. As we look at the overall pattern, we do have some changes which are going to take place here in the overall pattern across the country. Here recently, we've seen the troughiness over the eastern sections of the country, ridging over the west, and in between, the northwesterly flow has resulted in below normal rainfall for us, but this uh, pattern is going to flip-flop somewhat uh, here during the course of the next 10 days. Take you through that period, you can see that first disturbance approaching the area tomorrow night. It'll push on through. A second disturbance, this model shows a little bit of rain in Texas. If there's going to be rain, it's going to more than likely stay to the south of us Thursday night. And then the northwesterly flow kicks back in. Notice the ridging here across the Rockies with an embedded disturbance. That is going to warm us up with temperatures back up into the 60s by the end of the weekend. And then heading into next week, we will see again the chance for some rain return as soon as Tuesday. And notice the flip-flop. We have the ridge in the west trough in the east. Now we have a southwesterly flow above us and whenever we see that we tend to see more clouds and when we get these disturbances swing around within these troughs they tend to pick up a lot more moisture and that's definitely going to be the case. You can see that good chance for showers and a few thunderstorms Wednesday, Wednesday night into Thursday and then we'll kind of ease into a drier weather pattern by next Friday and it is looking promising that we could see a decent amount of rainfall most models showing at least an inch of rain for all of the Arkletex, with some locations perhaps receiving more than two inches of rain, and with most of that happening Tuesday, Wednesday, into Thursday of next week. A bit early to project on any severe weather threats. If we have any issues, more than likely it will come, they will come on Wednesday, but as of right now, uh, too early to tell if that's going to be uh, become an issue. So your forecast for tonight is looking mostly clear and cold as we'll see lows dipping below freezing 26 tonight in Dequeen, 28 in Texarkana, 29 degrees in Shreveport. Tomorrow expect lots of sunshine, bit of a chilly day and cooler than today thanks to that colder start as we'll see highs in the upper 40s north to the lower 50s south. That includes 50 in Natchitoches, 50 in Shreveport and 49 degrees for the daytime high in Texarkana. These temperatures a good almost 10 degrees below normal for this time of year. But never fear, we will eventually see temperatures climb back up above normal, but that probably will not happen until the weekend. We will see mid-50s for Thursday and Friday. Expect uh, lots of uh, sunshine for the weekend. Notice Sunday back up to 67. We'll be in the upper 60s despite the rain next week, thanks to the breezy south wind. And again, there is the potential for some thunderstorms and some locally heavy rain, especially next week. Wednesday. So it looks like dry and cool the theme as we close out the work week with warmer temperatures on the way for the weekend.